There's a brand new text to video AI model and it's from the company Runway, the leading text to video AI model. They've been around for quite a while. They had something called Gen 1, then they had something called Gen 2 and this new model is called Gen 3. Everything I'm showing you here on screen is actually just text prompts turned into video from their demo reel and I'm going to show you exactly how to use it. It's available for everyone right now and we could use it right now inside of runwayml.com. And one thing that Gen 3 has that I've never seen before, it has lip sync. So you could type in a script and it will have the character that you generate actually read that script using AI voices. I'll show you that too. Now my background is in filmmaking. I run a video production company to this day that I've had for over a decade and I've worked as a cinematographer and a director for well over 15 years, mostly in the commercial world. So this is kind of an exciting tool. It's a little bit scary at the same time, but let me show you exactly how it works. So runwayml.com is the website. If you've never used it before, Runway actually has a library of AI tools. So you could go ahead and click try Gen 3. It's in alpha right now. And then log in with an account. And then it's gonna bring you to this page. Now Gen 3 does require a subscription that I believe starts if you pay monthly at $15. And then I'll show you how the credits work. It's based on credits. Video generation is extremely expensive, but Runway has different tiers depending on how much you're gonna use it. If you're using it for more creative film type projects, it may require you to buy the higher end level. And if you wanna kind of dabble with it, maybe make a small commercial, you could probably start with the smaller plan. I have the middle tier here in my account. Okay, I'll get started here with Gen 3 and I wanna specifically show you how to prompt it correctly. And I have a prompt that I'll put in the description that you could copy and paste and actually yeah, use ChatGPT or Claude as a prompt generator for this very specific platform using their specific prompting technique. But the page is very, very simple right now. They don't have many options at all. So right here, this is where the box for the prompt goes. And if you click this dropdown for some reason, if you're on Gen 2, which was a pretty good model too, but Gen 3 is like at a whole different level, make sure you choose Gen 3 first. I'll show you prompting in a second. We're gonna put that in here. On the left side, that's where your prompt goes, but there are some settings option that I'll cover, and then there's some custom presets. But right now, let's go ahead and type in a basic prompt, and I'll just go ahead and generate from here. And since OpenAI Sora is still not available, this is supposed to be the best text-to-video model available, but it's still not out yet. We're gonna use the prompts from there. So here's a prompt, and I'm gonna go ahead and copy this prompt. And let me take it into Runway, and I'll paste it here. Now, right here on the bottom, you could actually generate clips that are five seconds or 10 seconds. So Sora claims they could do 60 seconds, but we'll see. And five second video clips only take about a minute to actually render out and show you here where you could download them directly from this page. 10 seconds takes about 120 seconds to generate. Now, as far as how many credits they take, if you look on top right here on the top right, every time you generate with Gen 3, which is what I'm showing you, it takes 10 credits for one second. So a 10 second clip is a hundred credits. So it is pretty expensive if you generate quite a bit of different uh, clips here with it, but I'll just go ahead and create this 10 second clip. I'll press generate. Again, really not much in the settings of it. Gen 2 has ton of different settings. So I'm sure a lot of those are gonna roll in, but as of right now, this is all you have is the prompt. So you gotta get good at prompting. I'll show you a prompting technique right after this generates. Okay, there we go, we got our generation. It took about 60 seconds in this case. Let me go ahead and go to full screen. Let me press play here and let's take a look. Okay, some of these people are morphing a little bit in the background and okay, for some reason <laughs> it went all the way to the feet and then it started to morph in a weird way. But for about five seconds of it, it was not too bad. It's definitely nowhere near Sora and I've generated this maybe three or four times. Let me show you a couple of different generations. Here's the first one I generated here. This one had much better results. It still looks a little bit cartoony, but this was a five second generation, pretty good. Now this one, I actually used the lip sync option. I just have it on mute right now, so not bad. Very similar to the other one, but this one, the lips are moving and actually reading a text prompt. Now let me show you the prompting guide they have here. It's actually pretty good. But this requires pretty manual prompting because you don't have any type of settings to change. You can't change the speed. You have to describe things. You have to describe camera movement. You have to describe lighting. You have to describe all kinds of different things if you want a very specific output. But the prompt basically is very simple. It has three parts to it. And you usually wanna do it exactly like this. First, 
describe the camera movement. I'm gonna show you they have a whole list down here. Then you're establishing the scene, then any additional details. So in those three parts is how you wanna create that. So right here is an example. Low angle static shot, that's the camera movement. So low angle is the angle, static shot means it's not moving. The camera is angled up at a woman wearing orange and there's a little bit of more detail here after that. Now, if you go down a little bit more, it's gonna tell you all kinds of different camera styles, lighting styles, all kinds of different things with an example. So if you're not familiar, obviously my background's in cinematography, so it's easier for me to come up with all these different type of terms. But for lighting, for example, diffuse lighting, if you describe that, it's gonna give you nice soft lighting or silhouette's gonna give you this kind of silhouette shadow look, right? So you got lots of different options in this page. So I'll put this page in the description below this video so you can read more about it. And they actually have another page here under the same menu where you could actually see more about it. So it's gonna give you actual prompts that you could just copy and paste from here with some more examples. Okay, now to come up with the next prompt, I wanna give you this prompt because then you could use ChatGPT or Claude as your prompt generator. Just type this prompt or paste this prompt from the description below this video. And all it's doing is saying, you are a prompt generator responsible for creating prompts for text to video model. And then it's gonna tell it the structure from that page. So always structure your prompt based on these three things and then give it more details based on angles and lighting. And I told it to not break it up into different sections because we want it as one chunk of text under 400 characters. The limit is technically 500, but sometimes ChatGPT just does a no character count. So I went on the lower side of that. And then all you have to do is right here, type in a very simple prompt. So I'll just type submarine in deep ocean. That's it, right? Super simple prompt. And as you see right here, it's gonna take that. So dolly shot, that's the camera movement. A submarine navigates through an ocean. Then it's gonna describe some filter, lighting, the different things, the details that it sees. So I could go ahead and copy and paste this here into runway. And this time I'll just generate a five second shot. So I'm not eating up all my credits here. Generate. Now, while that's going, let me show you the settings menu. The only thing that's available here that's worth looking at, obviously you wanna remove the runway watermark here that's checked on. But what a seed is, is this number. If you go ahead and turn this on, your next generation will be a close rendering of what you're seeing in this generation. Every time you have this off and you generate again, it might be wildly different. So by default, it is wildly different. But if you wanna create something or shots within the same scene, you typically might wanna turn on the seed and see what kind of results you get there. And then this other option you have, you could actually create custom prompts. So these basically save your prompt here. You could name it as a preset. So then you could keep generating it based on this by actually using it as a template. Okay, let's take a look at this one here. Okay, interesting looking submarine. Doesn't look like a submarine I've seen before, but uh, yeah, nothing wrong with this shot. This looks pretty good. Now let me take one more from Sora from the OpenAI page. This one is a pretty detailed prompt and it looks really, really good. Let's see what we get out of runway with that. Now this one, I have a 500 character limit, so that was a little bit too long. So I'll take some out, generate a five second clip. And while that's generating, every time you get a generation, it's really simple here to download it. They just have a download tab right here. You could also favorite it here, so it's really easy to find. And if you wanna save it to a folder, they actually have a nice folder structure. So I've created one for all my Gen 3 generations. You could just create folders from here and save them, and then when you go to your dashboard, all your generations will be in one place. Because every time you refresh this page, these won't appear over here. But while you're in the same session, all your generations show up like this, one, two, three, four, and so on. Okay, let's go ahead, full screen on that. Let's press play. Okay, that did not turn out good at all. It's just going backwards here. Overall though, the lighting is nice, really cinematic backlit here. The car looks a little bit weird, but obviously the movement doesn't work at all. I could probably take this into an editing program and reverse it and it might work, but by default, this motion doesn't make any sense, right? So it's a hit and miss here right now inside of Gen 3. You're not gonna get exactly what you want every time and it's pretty expensive to generate, but if you're patient and you're willing to spend the credit, I found one out of three is pretty good so far and I've generated maybe 20, 30 clips and I think that's about the rate. That's kind of the hit and miss rate that I'm getting. Okay, here I'll start with a really simple prompt. Close up tripod shot of a female news anchor reading the news directly to camera. I'm gonna generate a 10 second clip of this. Then I'll show you the lip sync option. Okay, let me just preview this to make sure it looks okay. Okay, not too bad, nothing alarming here. 
okay? Let's go ahead and try the lip sync option that's down here. I'm gonna click this. It's gonna take a few seconds here to show up on the left side. And here, all I have to do is upload an audio file. You could actually record your own audio, upload it there. You could record audio directly from here. In this case, I'm gonna use AI generated audio. So I'm just gonna type in my text here. So this is just something I got out of ChatGPT for an opening of the five o'clock news. And I'm gonna press right here on the left side because you have a ton of different voices available. I'll just press play on one of these here. This one's a news, so I'll just choose the news category. Katie. Hi there, I absolutely love telling stories. Okay, I don't know if I like that one so much. Let me try this one. Good evening. I was actually hoping to run into you. Okay, I like this one a little bit more for this news anchor. And I'm gonna just press right here, generate lip sync. Now this uses new credit because it's generating a whole different clip. And this is gonna take the length of the script. I noticed sometimes if the script was too long and my generations was only 10 seconds, it just kind of reversed the clip again. Okay, there we go, we have this one. Let me go ahead and go full screen on it and let's take a listen. Good evening, I'm Mary and welcome to the five o'clock news. Here are tonight's top stories. First, a major breakthrough in... Ma okay, so it's all right. It's not very good. I think HeyGen, which is an avatar generator, does a better job than this. You could actually clone yourself in that. But it did technically sync up the text I put here with the face and change the face, right? Before the face wasn't moving at all. It was just kind of sitting here looking down. Again, this is just in alpha right now, Gen 3 alpha. So the video quality is getting really good. It's a hit and miss right now. The lip sync is not quite there yet, but interesting option that they have. They're kind of thinking ahead there. And I also wanna show you this course that we have. It's called Making Movies with AI. And this is basically our most popular creative course on Skill Leap. And it combines multiple different things. It combines the power of creating a shot list with ChatGPT, creating images with Midjourney, then using Runway with Gen 2 to bring it to life. But we're gonna add some Gen 3 in there when it's appropriate. Even teaches you how to edit all of that together using DaVinci Resolve to actually create commercials or kind of practical movies all using AI. We use this to create short films and commercials, for example. And it's a 22 video course, pretty straightforward. It's part of our free trial too. So if you're not part of Skill Leap, you could just start a free trial here, check out this course. And along with Mid Journey and Dolly, these are some of our popular creative courses on Skill Leap. So I'll link that in the description below. Thanks so much for watching this video and I will see you on the next one.